If you're looking for a fun budget FPV quad, you should definitely have a look at this Baby 8 Pro from Darwin FPV. It's a three inch quad that weighs just under 100 grams. And although it's surprisingly cheap, it's really very good. And I'll say it again, it's fantastic fun. Hello and welcome to the Worldly Bloke channel. This is YouTube, you know what to do. Subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this. So this little cutie took me completely by surprise. I wrongly assumed it was just another cheap and cheerful small FPV drone, but this is much better than that. And I think Darwin FPV have achieved this by making what is essentially a baby version of a five inch X configuration quad. These small three inch quads are generally made from two pieces of carbon. You'll get a mono base plate that includes the arms and a top plate that's mounted on a few standoffs with all the electronics squeezed in the middle. But this frame has been designed the same way as lots of five inch quad frames. It's got separate arms that mount in an X on the bottom and it's held together with this bracing plate. And what this gives you is stiffness and that's what you need for great flight performance. And I think designers sometimes forget that just because it's a small frame, stiffness doesn't matter like it does for larger frames, but it does. And it really shows in how well this flies. Now, Darwin FPV make two versions. There's the Baby Ape and the Baby Ape Pro, and they each come in yellow, black, and purple. In reality, that just means different color props. The difference between the Baby Ape and the Pro is the FPV camera. The three inch uses a 700 TV line Darwin 205 camera and the Pro has got a Cadex Ant that's 1200 TV lines. So it's better resolution and just an all round better camera. There's a difference in cost, as you'd expect, but they're both stupidly cheap. The Baby Ape is $80 and the Pro is 92. And I'll leave links in the description so you can check out the latest prices. Now, neither of those versions comes with a receiver, so you'll have to fit your own and set it up, but it's not that difficult. The version I ordered is the Baby 8 Pro with these push fit purple gem fan 3016 three blade props. And the motors, although they're unbranded, they're 1104 4300 KV. And that means you can fly this on two or three S LiPos. The all up weight with these 300 milliamp hour GMB 3S batteries, it's just 100 grams, so it's all very light. And you can fix a battery in place using these supplied rubber bands, but they also supply a couple of these Velcro straps if you want. And they put some inline LEDs on the arms, which is a nice touch, and they're all very neatly held in place with heat shrink. The frame itself is 1.5 millimeter thick carbon for the top and the bottom plates, and the arms are 2.5 mil with this brace plate on the bottom that makes the whole thing very stiff. Inside, there's a diamond mount F411 all in one flight controller with 15 amp ESCs that's just nicely soft mounted on these gummies. And fixed to the top plate is a 5.8 gig 40 channel VTX that's power switchable from 0 25 up to 200 milliwatts. And there's a mini antenna on the back here mounted in this TPU bracket. The Cadex Ant camera fits on a couple of side plates, fairly standard, and it's tiltable so you can put it where you want. And the build quality, is actually pretty good given how cheap this is. The soldering's all very neat and there's even a low ESR capacitor mounted directly onto the flight controller right where it should be. Not mounted on the end of the XT60 which is common on these types of quads. Mounting up here is a complete waste of time. I fitted a Radio Master 2.4 gig ELRS EP2 nano receiver on the top plate and wired it down here to this spare UART, which is TX1. And the nice thing about these EP2 ELRS receivers 
it's got these ceramic antennas so you don't have to worry about where you're going to fix antenna wires and I'll be using my Radio Master Zorro which is now my daily driver for all my ELRS quads. So let's see how Darwin FPV has set this up in beta flight. Connect to the quad. Yep, that's all looking good. Ports. So there are only two UARTs. I've used UART 1 here for the Serial RX for the ELRS receiver. UART 2 is being used for TBS Smart Audio to control the VTX. Configuration, we are props in, D-Shot 600, it all looks fairly sensible. The receiver I set to CRSF so that it works with the ELRS. And mode is turned off, power and battery, all normal, fail safe, set to drop. These are all the things that you need as standard. So let's have a look at the PID tuning. Now these are definitely not beta flight default so as I suspected Darwin FPV have done a fair bit of work on this. Rates are reasonably slow and the filters unless I do a direct comparison with, dif with the defaults it's a bit difficult to know what they've done here but they've obviously been working on it. Receiver that's all good so let's have a look at the modes. So we've got an arm switch, angle and horizon, and it'll be in air mode when they're both off. Flip over after crash, that's pretty much all you need to be honest. OSD, I've been in and tweaked these because I don't like too much information. I've got the link quality up here and the craft name and just the warnings and the cell voltage, which is exactly what I need. So this all looks fairly standard and they clearly have done some work on the tuning. This is extremely lively on 3S and it's fantastic fun. It flies really, really well and I mainly put this down to the frame design. Darwin FPV have clearly spent some time getting the tune very well sorted and there's no nasty vibrations, wobbles or hot motors or anything like that. And not even a hint of prop wash. It's like it's on rails and just goes where you want it to go. There's no real need to use angle mode either because it's very stable in acro if you're just cruising around. But the problem is you just want to punch out, flip and roll because it entices you into it. I'm not sure what the flight times would be just cruising around because as soon as you start flying it brings out the hooligan in you. With some fairly tired GMB 3S 450mAh LiPos I was getting just over 4 minutes which would have been longer if I could restrain myself and to be honest these batteries are a little bit tired. The image from the Ant camera is fine but don't expect too much. It'll be better than the 700 TVL Darwin 205 camera, but the Ant is still a cheap camera. But remember, this is a $90 quad, so you can't expect the absolute best of components. So I think you can see this is a great quad for the money, and I've had an awful lot of fun flying it. I just need to get some newer batteries. And I definitely recommend you get the pro version. For another $10 or so, you get a much better camera. And also, I'm not really a fan of these cheap Velcro straps they include. You just can't get the battery tight enough to feel safe, but that's an easy fix. Darwin FPV have really excelled themselves with this and it sort of makes me wonder what they'll come up with next. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found that helpful, why not subscribe or maybe buy me a coffee to support the channel? There's links in the description. And I'll see you next time.